so many tears were lost down here. We're looking for the middle of August when those tears are tears of happiness and when this warp opened back up and we see the youth and our community all come together being out here. From devastation to triumph, work on the Capitola Wharf is in the home stretch as city leaders have announced a soft opening in July and a grand opening for August 14th. There will be some intermittent closures still for us to uh, get the lighting installed and the benches installed and the mosaics put in. So you'll still expect some closures here and there. But come July, it, we're expecting it will be open to the public again and come August is when we're really going to celebrate. A long time coming to reopen the iconic landmark as rebuilding efforts face several setbacks like cost overruns and unexpectedly having to tear down two businesses at the end of the wharf. But the city announcing Boat and Bait will be making a comeback and will open in a temporary facility on the wharf through 2025. The community made it very clear to us that they expected that they would be back out there when the wharf reopens. I'm glad that we were able to come to an agreement um, in a way that's going to serve our community. Once fully reopened, it will be a whole new wharf with new decking, lighting, benches, viewing stations, art installations, even educational displays. Some new features made possible by community fundraising. The community coming together, raising over $420,000. This far surpassing the original goal. Lights on at the end of the tunnel, and uh, we're, it's just been an amazing thing to be a part of. And it's going to be just one of those special events that we're going to be able to, you know, notch into the history of Capitola again. And in the first few months that the wharf is open, the city will host several food truck events out on the water, including a beer garden. All of this until they establish their long-term plan. Reporting from Capitola, I'm Brisa Colon, KSBW Action News 8. All right, thanks, Brisa.